So I've added a second disk to this system, and as you can see, I've been able to uh, remove, using disk management, the um, data partition here. But there's these two uh, EFI partitions, and I can't do anything with them. Um, if I right-click on them, I can convert this to a dynamic disk and back, I can turn it offline. Basically, it can't go. Um, now, this uh, disk that I'm using here, this uh, almost terabyte disk, uh, was used in a uh, computer beforehand running Windows 10, and so these are now protected. So what I need to do is uh, either download a utility to delete these, uh, these uh, two partitions, um, or uh, alternately, I need to uh, just run dispart, which is a lovely little command. Let me just show you that. So I'm just going to run the PowerShell here. You can, you can do this in command line, by the way. It doesn't have to be PowerShell. Okay, there it is. Let me just bring up dispart. I'll just type in dispart. See the, the help, not very complex. All right, so I'm just going to type in disk part just by itself. So we'll get me into a to disk part utility. Now I can type list disk, and there it is. And I want to use uh, disk one, which is the terabyte disk here. And I'm just going to type select, oops, select disk one, and uh, then I'm going to type list partition. We go and uh, basically I want to toast all of these as you can see here or right, there is no partition here this is just unallocated space so let's go and delete these now so it's uh, delete partition override I believe all right I need to select a partition first so let's just go here and type select partition uh, one there we go. And uh, delete partition override. Boom. Gone. I'm going to go back and I'm going to type it in again. This time I'll select, oops, partition two. Okay, so I've selected partition two. Now I will delete partition override. Bye. And you can see it's going away. And I'm going to now go um, select partition three. And I'm going to delete partition override. There we go. Now it's all gone. Now I can use uh, Disk Manager or Disk Management here to create a new partition, which I will do because it's just a basically a big chunk of open space. And I'm going to create this at. Uh, I want to leave a little bit of extra space here. So there we go. Um, and uh, I'm going to call this my data data drive. And congratulations, we're done. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.